What's going on YouTube? Jeans here bringing you guys some brand new VGC content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping into the casual ladder with an Urshifu, Talonflame, and a Moongus team. Three brand new Pokemon from the Isle of Armor. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. I chose an Urshifu team because he is like the heart and soul of the Isle of Armor. He is that main Pokemon. So I was just like, yo, let's show him off first and then get rolling with the other Pokemon. But like I said, rocking out on the team, we got Urshifu, Top Dog with Close Combat, Iron Head, Wicked Blow, that's the signature move. It is 80 base power and it crits every single time. He also has Detect as like a little protect for his fighting moves. But his ability is Unseen Fist. So what that actually does is he can hit through Protects, which is phenomenal. So like someone's going to Protect, we're going to hit through it and probably use Wicked Blow on it and crit and take him out. Like I think this thing is going to be OP and not even be able to use in the new VGC or the next series. But his item, he's holding the extra belt, so he boosts his super effective damage. We also got Draco Fish. You guys already know what Draco Fish does. He has Fish's Rank, Crunch, Psychic Fangs, Rock Slide, with a Choice Scarf or a Choice Band, whichever one you want to give it to. We got Primarina, Liquid Voice Primarina. You guys already know about that, and you already know about the Duraludon with the Draco Meteor, Flash Cannon Protect, and Dark Bolt. So those are just normal Pokemon. But two new Pokemon that we are using is Amoongus down in the bottom right corner. He has Giga Drain, Spore, Clear Smog to actually cancel out stats, and Rage Powder to make people come after him. And the Rage Powder is actually going to work so, so well because he has Effect Spore. So if a physical attack move comes in, there's a chance that they're going to get like Paralyzed, Poison. I think it's Paralyzed and Poison. I think those are the only two. Maybe Sleep. I think it's just Paralyzed and Poison. But we're going to Rage Powder, have the attacks come to us, and potentially give him a status condition. And then he has Black Sludge to actually give him some health. Same thing with Kiki Drain. You can keep him alive a lot longer. Then we got Talonflame, who I'm actually very, very hyped for. And I feel like we're going to see him a lot more in uh, the rank ladder when he's able to actually be in the rank ladder. He has Taunt, Brave Bird, Fire Blitz, and he's a Tailwind user. And he also has Gale Wings, which makes flying moves get priority when their HP is full. So I can Tailwind first turn and have that priority and roll out there. But guys, you want to use this team for yourself. Metal Code is at the bottom of the screen. And let me know for a little bit of question of the day, what Pokemon are you most excited to use on the rank ladder? But we're going to back out here. I'm just going to go do this one slow. We're going to go to the casual ladder because I cannot use them in rank. It is whack. And also, guys, I really, really, really need you guys' help. So as you guys know, a bunch of new Pokemon have came out for the Isle of Armor. So I'm looking for people to build me teams. Just build teams with the brand new Pokemon. I got someone building me a Kingdra team. I got somebody bring, uh, building me an Alkazan team. So if somebody can build me like a Luxray team, and a, uh, what other ones are there? Zoroak, like all the new Pokemon. Just start building me teams with all different new Pokemon, and chances are I will use them in a YouTube video. So I plan on using these teams uh, right now in casual, and then when they go live in rank, then using them again in rank and showing them off there. But I love this new format right here. Look at this. We're hopping into battle number one, and we're going up against Chab. And look at this little format right here. Oh, he has a Lowen Malwak. A Lowen Malwak, potentially G-Max Cinderace, which is pretty cool. Um, how should I roll out turn one? How should I roll out turn one? I definitely want to get my Tailwind Pokemon here. Let's go Flock of Flame, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go Flock of Flame, and I think I might go Amoongus. I could definitely Rage Powder and make him hit me here for physical attackers, but then he sh I think he might lead the Cinerace. I mean, if he leads Draco Fish, that could be nice. I'm definitely bringing Urshifu. That's a fact. Urshifu's definitely coming in here. We'll bring Amoongus in the front spot. Urshifu in that back end. Or I could go Urshifu turn one, get that Tailwind. He has no Tailwind or Speed thing, but he does have the uh, the Intimidate. He does have the Intimidate. And then in the final spot, do I want to go Primarina or... The Raladon. I feel like Primarina can rock out pretty strong here. Yeah, let's go Primarina. Let's get rolling here. And hop into our first battle with this team. Yo, Urshifu is going to be so strong. The Both of them. The Rapid Strike one and the Single Strike one. This one is the Single Strike with the Wicked Blow. But in my DLC playthrough, which we only, we only have one more episode. I didn't even go over that. We're taking a little break right now. Just wanted to get some BGC content out for you guys. But then we have one more part. We only have one more episode. So if you haven't checked out that playthrough, go check it out. But... Yeah, we have the Rapid Strike one in our playthrough. I got that one, and we only have one episode. All we gotta do is, uh, I think, defeat Mustard one last time. But I was kind of uh, planning on this thing going into an Intimidate, which is totally fine. I think I just go into a Giga Drain and uh, Tailwind, right? Giga Drain Tailwind? Yeah, let's get this Tailwind up. Tailwind, baby. Or, 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 hold the phone. Hold the phone. We're gonna taunt this thing so it doesn't uh, start poisoning and all that good stuff. And do I Rage Powder or do I Spore? I'm in now Rage Powder. Giga Drain. I'm just gonna. Oh, Giga Drain is not super effective. Uh, do I Rage Powder? Make everything come here and potentially get status conditions? I mean, he's definitely gonna fake out. Maybe a Moongus. I'm just gonna go for a Rage Powder. 
I think he's gonna fake out the talent flame. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. Here comes the fake out. Go on. Yes, a Moogish. Yes. Give him a status condition. Give it to him. Give it to him. Get the taunt off on this thing. Hopefully this thing is maybe going for a poison or toxic, whatever it wants to go for. Let's see what happens here. It goes just straight for a scald over on my talent flame. So it's fine. I think my talent flame should be able to outspeed no problem. And I can go for a rage powder this turn and just soak up some shots. All that good stuff. He is taunted, so hmm. Definitely tailwind. We'll get that rolling. And then uh, I could spore. Where do I have rage powder? I'm gonna spore. Because I feel like we outspeed. I feel like we outspeed a lot here. Talent flame definitely should be able to outspeed the instant or and the toxic pack. Get the tailwind up. And then the moon just rolls out and puts something to sleep. There it goes. Boom. Nice little speedy towel flame. Getting off that tailwind. And then we should be able to get off this spore. Yeah, yeet. Night, 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 night. See you later, punk. <laughs> so we get that thing to sleep. Let's see what this thing goes for. A flare blitz, yeah, over into the Moongus. That's totally fine by me. Does the Moongus eat up? No, but Moongus goes down. But yo, he already did his job. Now we got the tail went up. We got effects for popping out. We get a poison over there. Wonderful. So we got sleep poison. Let's get Urshfu out here. Let's Dynamax him. I believe he has a G Max form. Yo, look at that. Look at that recoil damage, too. And then the poison's coming in here. Toxic Peck slumped. We're chilling here. We are totally chilling here. Let's get it. Let's get it, baby. Or, you know what I could actually do? I might not even have the Dynamax right now. I could just go for a Wicked Blow. Take out one of them, because it's going to crit. And I have that Expert Bell. Well, it's not super effective, but I have the Speed Advantage. Hmm. What do I want to do? I definitely want to go into a Brave Bird. Probably into the Toxic Peck. And I could fight and just drop a Wicked Blow. I could Wicked Blow the Toxic Peck and then Brave Bird into the other thing. Or I could just go for a close combat. You know what? I'm just going to go here. G-Max? Ooh, this is G-Max Bumble. What does this do? It can ignore max guards? Are you serious? What you mean? Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go here. I'm going to switch all this up. We're going to go Brave Bird into Incineroar. And then uh, Wicked Blow into Toxic Peck. Because I want to show off this move too. And then I'll G-Max and show off his uh, G-Max move. Because I think we should be chilling here. I think we definitely should be chilling here. He's going to withdraw in center war. Okay, that's wonderful. That is just wonderful. And he's going to go out into Bay. Who's Bay? Okay, he's going to go out into... Is that Shiny? Ooh! Shiny Alolan Malwak. Brave Bird comes out here. That's cool. We basically get uh, free turns here. Nope. Not bad damage. I can take him out next turn. And he has Cursed by, so Brave Bird does get cursed up. Which is totally fine. This thing's going to go down in just a little bit. But Wicked Blow coming out here. Check this move out. Guaranteed crit. Oh, my lord! Not bad. Ooh, that thing actually ate it up very, very well. I'm surprised by that. Well, this thing's a defensive bulkiness guy. I totally forgot. This thing's really bulky. Okay. I'm definitely Dynamax in here. Tax Pex shakes off the taunt. And do I just taunt again, or do I go into Brave, Brave Bird's single? That's whack. Do I swap? Hmm. I'm definitely going to taunt the Tax Pex again. At least he's sleeping. Hmm, what do I really want to go here? I'm definitely Dynamax into Urshifu. Hey, yo, hey, yo. Let's taunt. Let's taunt. Let's taunt you, and then I want to go into G-Max 1 blow, and take this thing out. Even though I can't take it out with a Wicked Blow, because we are super effective. But I think he actually might swap back to the Incineroar War, try to get that attack drop as well. Which I hope he doesn't. That would be awesome if he doesn't. But here comes our G-Max. Yeah, I totally forgot about Toxapec and just being just a, such a defensive bulky mon. The crit didn't really like do too, too much. But look at this thing. Look at Big Dog over here. G-Max for him. This is one of my first times actually seeing him in G-Max, and he looks phenomenal. And does he not withdraw? He does not withdraw, which is wonderful. Which is wonderful. We're going to taunt this thing just so it doesn't set up substitutes or poisons, all that good stuff. And Urshfu is going to come in here with G-Max move right here. And see you later. See you later, Malwax. Just absolutely dump on that thing. Okay, so. Thing is, we got poison right there. I think he... This thing's still sleeping. Let's get it. I taunt that. Um, I think Tailwind might end. Or do we have one more turn in the Tailwind? I think we might still have one more turn in the Tailwind. He's definitely going to fake out my Talon Flame. That's probably the call. Then I'm going to have to go after it with a fighting move. Probably a Max Knuckle to boost my attack one more time. Because he's got to go Incineroar, right? Yeah, he's going to go Incineroar for sure. He's going to take out Talon Flame as well. Intimidate comes out. Yo, leave me alone. He's going to intimidate me. Get that attack drop. It's a little rough. But we're definitely going to fly in with a Max Knuckle. And we can't even use Brave Bird. That's whack. How many turns left in Tailwind? Is it end it? No, we have one. Wish I had protect on this thing. I could taunt you, but I guess just a flare blitz. <laughs> I guess just a flare blitz. We'll double into the incident or try to take this thing out. Definitely a max knuckle coming through. Come on, this is a long first battle. Well, it kind of seems a little long. Let's see what happens here. He's definitely going to go for the fake out, obviously. That was an obvious play. That did some mean damage. And Toxpec's probably going to wake up and take out my talent flame here. 
not gonna lie. Here goes Urshifu. Do we pick up the KO here? We do. We pick up the KO and we get our attack back to normal, which is wonderful. We get that attack boost. Please show me Toxpec is still somehow asleep. He's definitely going for a Scald, which is fine. Definitely going for a Scald. Let's see what happens. Toxpec wakes up and he goes for a Scald. Oh my, Urshifu. Thank God we can get off another Tailwind potentially, which could be huge. Which could be huge. It actually depends what Mani goes into. Because if I know I just outspeed totally, then I might just go into a... Uh, a Brave Bird or a Flare Blitz. Let's go. We go Sylveon. I think we might uh, take the Tailwind side of this. I think we are going to take the Tailwind side. And this thing is four times super effective the Fairy, so we got to watch out here. So Tailwind, and then we are got to go for a Steel Spike, right? Or do we go for the one more? I go for this. Because this thing might Dynamax and Max Guard. This is scary. This thing's four times super effective. Four times. That is nuts. Hmm. What do I really want to go here? Steel Spike or Stab. I think I'm just going to go for Steel Spike. We get the boost as well, but I'm thinking I should have went for that. The other one, because if he guards here, I can hit through it. E, This is tough. But I'm glad I'm actually coming back to the uh, rank battles. Well, casual battles for right now. Getting some content out for you guys. And I hope you guys are enjoying all the uh, the playthrough on the Isle of Armor. I've been having a blast with that. And if I haven't said this already, go check out my streams. Jeans25 on Twitch. Link in the description below. Tons of fun. We have a, we have a blast over there. And next stream, I think we are going to like complete the Pokedex with everybody in the stream. We're just going to get rolling with that. This suit does not Dynamax. I think he wants to go for Hyper Voice. What happens here? We get a Tailwind, and a Steel Spike comes out here. Can we? Do we pick up KO with Steel Spike? I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Yes, we do, because this thing is a special defense tank, and that is pretty much going to be game. Beautiful. We get to show off Urshifu in this first battle, and that's absolutely just do some work. We just do some work on this thing, which is lovely. Which is lovely. And then this thing's going to go for a Skull. Oh, you're going after my Urshifu still. Dang, yo, we reckon. We reckon. That's the only thing I think about casual battles is sometimes you get players that like have no idea what they're doing, but it's all good. It's no problem. It's no problem. I wouldn't be surprised if this guy just calls it quits here. I'm just going to go for a Wicked Blow again because it's a stab and it gets that crit, so it's probably going to do the most damage. And then I guess we'll go for another Brave Bird, take ourselves out, and all that good stuff. Let's get rolling here. Who's my final mod? It was, uh, was it Duralon? No, it was Free Marina, but he does cancel, and we get battle number one in the bag, our first win for the new Isle of Armor Pokemon. Little bit of a mirror matchup with double Urshifu. I think they're both single strike Urshifus. I think so. I believe they're both uh, fighting in dark type, but he also has that Buffalo Pokemon, which I forget his name. I forget his name. It's like something fat. I don't even know, but he has them Incineroar, Togekiss, uh, Titar, and potentially G-Max Cinderace. Um, definitely going to go into the Talonflame turn one. I think Talonflame just rocks out, gets that, uh, that Tailwind started off strong. We might go into Incineroar. I think Incineroar is just a smart, safe play to go into. So, I think I might go same lead. I definitely want to bring Urshifu. I actually might... Uh, do I want to do that? Do I want to just go into a Detect with the Urshifu turn one? No, because then he's going to get my attack. I better just go into Special Attackers. I'm going to go into Prima Arena. Because if he goes that, I can go into a Liquid Voice, drop that off, and roll from there. Get the Tailwind going. And then bring Urshifu. And then I kind of want to bring Amoongus. I kind of want to bring Amoongus. But he has double fire, which is tough. Double fire, but Amoongus is just so much fun. I think Duraldon could actually do some work. Yeah, let's go D-Don with that life orb. We could potentially Dynamax him in the back end. And let's get rolling. I'm loving Talonflame. I cannot wait to actually see Talonflame get into the uh, meta. Because I, I feel like he's going to push a, push a little spot. Because he has priority with Gale Wings for flying types, which is Tailwind. So that works out. And he's just a strong, fast Pokemon with uh, Stab. Flying and stab fire. So big awesome Pokemon. Cannot wait to see where he lands up at. Same thing with Alkazam. I cannot wait to get my hands on Alkazam. This is what it's called. It's called Boofaland. Boofaland. That is what it's called. That was throwing me off. Okay, so we got Pre Marina and Talonflame. I feel like our speed, uh, we're totally fine with the speed, are we? I'm still gonna set up a tailwind. So let's go tailwind. And then hyper voice. I could go hyper voice. Do double damage here. Let's go hyper voice. Just double up and roll from there. Let's see what he goes. He goes, follow me, which is totally fine. I don't really need that. I wonder what this Boofalance going to do. I'm kind of scared of it. I have no idea. Tailwind gets rolling. Yo, we're going to take speed. We are going to take some speed. Yeah, Hyper Force. Uh, yo, do some nice damage. Not bad, not bad. Oh, no. No, please. No, please. All right, we got to get this uh, Tokus out the way. This thing is setting up Swords Dance. And he has leftovers. Okay. Whoa, hold the phone there. Hold the phone there, buddy. 
Uh, Brave Bird or... I mean, they kind of do both the same. Well, we can leave a target with a burn. So we're going to go over here with that and then roll into a Moonblast, get that stab damage. Or do I go Hydra Cannon? Then I can't use it in the move next turn. So definitely Moonblast. We're going to double through over on Toka's side. But he's definitely going to go for Follow Me and Dynamax to take out one of my Mons. E! Leave me alone! <laughs> Yo, dude, Boopa Lant. I would have never saw this coming. This thing's setting up Sword Sands. I should have went the route on turn one, had to stalwart and rolled out from there. But still, it's all good. I feel like uh, once we get out, maybe our Urshifu or our Duraldon will take uh, speed advantage because we have Tailwind. We can Dynamax kind of in there. But I think Tokus goes down here. Or we at least put it like one away from taking it down. <laughs> no way! This dude just read me hard. What a play. What a play. I'll give it to him. 10 out of 10 on the play. 10 out of 10. That was beautiful. Just read the buns off me. He's definitely gonna watch me play. He goes to a max lightning, which we might be able to eat up. Nope, unless that was physical. I was gonna say if we have a soul fest. No, it's definitely physical. He swords dance. He was a swords dancer. He was dancing through swords. Uh, do I go Urshifu? Do I go Foo full of Urshas? And this thing's just gonna heal up a little bit with leftovers. I think I could go Urshifu here. This thing's gonna go for a follow me, right? Hmm, I do have an Iron Head. I could go for a Steel Spike Booster defense. Or I could just go straight the route on. I'm going to save the round on. I'm going to go Urshifu here. Get that super expert uh, damage going through. Definitely go for a Steel Spike. And into a uh, Flare Butts. Let's roll it. Let's run it, baby. Go Flare Butts. He cannot protect again. Hmm. Let's go. I'm going to target Bufalant. And then I'm going to go into... What you want, fool? What you want? We Dynamax and Urshifu once again. I feel like uh, a Dynamax and a Talonflame wouldn't be bad either. I feel like that can kind of work kind of like as a Braviary. You know? I feel like a team like that could be tough as well. Oh, yo, you know who else I would love to get my hands on? A Palisand team. Palisand is so sick. Like I said in the beginning of the video, guys, I really want teams. I really do want teams, and there's a high chance of uh, me playing them if they have, a, like, two, three of the new Pokemon. So, if you guys do have teams, leave them in the comment section down below, or DM me over on my Instagram page, jeans underscore YouTube. Link is in the description below to my Instagram page as well. But we're going to Dynamax Urshifu here. Get him rolling one single strike. I really do like the Rapid Strike one a little bit better because it's not four times weakness to uh, Fairy. I don't know. I always I like saw that and I was just like, dude, Fairy's so big in the meta. It's just huge. But we do some damage to Bufalant. And then I should come through with a Steel Spike here. The Steel Spike should be able to KO 100%. And we get the Defense Boost, right? Expert Belt. Super effective. Yeah, he has no Babiri Berry. We can say, see you later, Tokus. And that thing didn't even uh, go for a follow me, which is nice. So we did make a good play. We get that defense boost going up against a Bufo Lant. A Lant full of Bufos. And hopefully he goes after my Talon Flame. Yeah, Max Lightning into my Talon Flame. Talon Flame gone. See you later, Talon Flame. Okay, that's fine. Um, I still think we have a huge chance of winning this game. Because do we think that Bufo Lant uh, goes into a guard? And I can just go into a G Max 1 blow? Is that what it's called? Something like that? But we still have the route out. We have Stalwart. Big old Life Orb damage. And we have two more turns left in Talon. So, we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. Right? Is it two more turns? I believe so. Yeah, because he took out... No, it's one more turn. Mm. Is it one? I can't even think right now. We'll check. We'll just check and make things easier for us. <laughs> but D-Down comes out and Cinderace. Okay, so who has to go? It's kind of tough. This thing has Sucker Punch. This thing has it all. Uh, let's see. Let's go into our info. Let's see how many turns left in Tailwind. One turn left in Tailwind, so... Hmm. I don't want to go for a Dark Pulse. I have no first turn priority moves, which stinks. Like, Cinderace got to go. Same thing with that Buffalo end, though. There you go for a stab move. Let's go into... Can I go into the Blight again? Yes, Dark Pulse. Try to get that flinch. Because if we do outspeed, we can get that flinch. And I could knuckle over on the Buffalo end. Get that stab damage. Get that attack boost as well. Let's see what happens here. He does not guard. He does not guard, which is wonderful. We go into Knuckle. Can Knuckle take out? I'm thinking it's going to be pretty close. Let's see. Get it. Oh! Ah, come on, man. Come on. We do not pick up that KO. He's going to come up big and do something dirty to us. Hopefully, we can potentially get the flinch on this thing. Because my Dur Duraldon should go first. It does. Not bad. Get some damage off on that Cinerace. There we go. I probably should just Draco Meteor that thing and just took it out. We get the flinch. Oh, this thing bounces anyway. So, he's going to Liberio. He's going to change into Flying type. And I could just detect next turn. Which is probably what I'm going to do. Well, Bufalant's going to come in clutch here. He's going to go for a regular max strike into my Urshifu, right? Yeah, and slow us down. 
Urshifu does E. I can definitely detect next turn and take out the boot flying. Right? Because that bounce has to be coming towards me. A speed drops. This thing's left over. Take out the boot flint. And then, oh, uh, where should I go from there? <laughs> that one's petered out. But what's going to go first? Cinderace is going to go first. I think I take out the Cinderace. I'm thinking I go over here. I oh, know. I, I can max guard. That's a max guard. And I play this one. I'm gonna guard. I'm gonna guard up. You gotta be doubling up in the Urshifu, right? Yeah, I'm gonna guard. Because the bounce has to definitely be coming here. I don't know about the Pooflant. Yeah, the bounce comes through. We block it. And the Dark Pulse comes out. Should be able to take out the Cinderace here. Say bye bye to that. Beautiful. Cinderace is gone. That was a huge threat. And show me that the Pooflant comes across. Does Pooflant come across the Urshifu? Head charge. Oh my god, let's go! The reeds! The reeds are huge. I know the Raladon outspeeds that Bufalant, so we're fine. Bufalant we can take out, and then I can go into maybe a Wicked Blow and take out the next Pokemon. Hopefully it's not too speedy. Incineroar, okay. Okay, it's not too speedy. I feel like, uh, let's actually check out my speed on the Urshifu. Intimidate, pops off. Hmm. Let's see, I can always detect. Uh, definitely a Fake Out is going to come out here. Actually, I cannot detect on my Urshifu. So what I'm thinking is uh, protect my Duraldon. No, because feet. Ooh, I think he's going to go. I got to read this one hard. Hmm. I have protect here. He's got to go after my Urshifu, right? I'm thinking he goes after my Urshifu. So I might as well just take out the Bufalant. I cannot detect. And then maybe go into close combat over on the Incineroar. Let's see what he does. Either way, I feel like we pick up a KO. Fake out comes out. Yeah, on my Urshifu. That's what I thought. So Duraldon is going to be able to pick up the KO on the Bufalant. Okay. Okay. Did we just pull this one out? Did we pull this one out? Dude, that Bufalant was scary. But that Max Guard definitely came up clutch. The Guard comes up clutch. Like, huge, baby. That was huge. And then, uh, 2v1 situation here. And if I hit him with a close combat, he's definitely dead. Uh, do I go Draco Meteor? Yeah, I'm going to go Draco Meteor. And I'm going to go close combat. I feel like, uh, we should be able to outspeed this thing. Let's see. Let's see, Urshifu, outspeed him and just give him that, piece him up with that punch. Piece him up, baby. Let's see what happens here. Or is he going to cancel battle? Bro, dude, that max guard was fire, dude. That was so clutch. Doubled up. He got us early on, but we made up for it like that. And Urshifu outspeed. Should be able to pick it up, right? Yep, see you later. Stab. Big old close combat. Super effective and expert belt damage. 2-0 with this team. Let's get it, guys. Let's hop into our third and final battle and try to go perfect record with Urshifu. Third and final battle going up against an Alakazam team. He looks so sick. I cannot wait to use him. I cannot wait to get my hands on a team with him. Like I said, somebody do it. Somebody get on it. I think somebody actually is already making me an Alakazam team, so cannot wait. This guy is Duraludon, Tokus, Snorlax, potentially Belly Jump Snorlax, Alakazam, Dragapult, and Pikachu. I think Talonflame definitely rocks out. That's another good lead. I think I'm going to bring Amoongus as well so I can put Pokemon to sleep. And if he goes for Belly Jump, I can also... uh. Clear smog that. I have Rage Powder. I can control a lot with that. So definitely Talonflame, Amoongus are solid leads. Bring Urshifu once again because we're trying to show off the new mods. And then final spot. Who do I think is going to take the cake? Maybe Dracofish for back end. Just slapping up with the Fish's Rend. I'm, th I'm thinking that with the Choice Scarf works out pretty well. Or I can go with the Raladon. The Raladon's always a good choice. But I feel like Dracofish is just Dracofish. I would love to have Dracofish back there. So let's get rolling here. Talonflame, yo. Oh my god, I knew Talonflame. Ever since I saw like Talonflame's in there, I'm like, bro, yo, cannot wait. I feel like Luxray's gonna be pretty solid too. Right? He learns Lightning Rod. Or no, he learns Intimidate, I believe. I saw a, uh, a Sphinx. Well, however you pronounce it. Shrinx? I can't even pronounce it. Every time I see it, I can pronounce it, but I don't even know. The first stage of Luxray, I saw it have Intimidate, which is pretty cool. We go Stalwart Dedon, and we go Amoongus and Talonflame. Um, hmm, how do I really want to roll with this one? I could put them both to sleep. Hmm. How fast is Talonflame? Talonflame definitely has a total speed advantage here, right? Total speed advantage even after it takes damage, right? Yeah, 178. This thing definitely has the, is the fastest on the field. Um, unless he goes for max airstream. Because I don't want to set up the Tailwind just yet. As much as I do. I could just taunt. 
He's definitely gonna Dynamax that, uh... That, uh, bu -bu bump I could Rage, but now Rage Paddle wouldn't do anything. I'm gonna Clear Smog. What Clear Smog? I don't even know what I wanna do here. Hmm. What do I wanna do here? I'm definitely gonna Taunt the, uh, the Kiss. And I think I just, uh, Spore up on the route on just in case he doesn't go into it follow me but i definitely think a follow me is going to come out here and yep dynamax and the route on oh this one's going to be close this one's going to be close this one's going to be uh i don't know how we're going to handle this one what's up dude oh it goes toga kiss so no follow me i get the taunt on that thing i should have clear small that but he throws me a curveball here he throws me a curveball because that flying is going to be huge we taunt up on that Waste of a turn from Jeans. And the Airstream's gonna come out here on Amoongus, probably, right? Amoongus goes down. Nope, Amoongus eats. So, we might be able to get somebody to sleep. And what is, uh... Are we gonna be able to outspeed now? It's a little tough news. And Urshifu's gonna be sitting in, in, in a tough spot. Yes, Talonflame avoids, which is beautiful. And we get off a Spore on the Duraldon. So, that means I can Tailwind and maybe outspeed that. And maybe outspeed that thing right there. We get that rolling. Yes, sir. Or do I uh, clear smog and lower that thing's speed? Let's go tailwind. Do I spore or do I clear smog? I'm going to clear smog. Because if I can hit this off, then we can uh, lower stats back down. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! <laughs> What's going on here? Tailwind pops off. Come on, Moogus, get him! Clear smog rocks out. Show, show him the clear smog. You know, this thing's still out speed. He's going to go for the airstream. Show me Talonflame. Okay, and Moogus goes down. Ooh. E. Tough news. So speed advantage is uh, getting off. This one's pretty close. Who is going to outspeed? Is it going to be? I don't even think I go into my Urshifu. Yeah, I'll wait for that Tokus to kind of slow down a little bit. Not slow down. Uh, get out of Dynamax form. I'm gonna get teed off by a, a flying move. I do have that with the expert belt. Ooh. Tough news. Drake fish can come in here. Let's get Draco Fish. Choice Scarf. Maybe a Fish is trying to do some work. Choice Scarf in the Tailwind. I feel like uh, we might be able to outspeed that uh, token. And then we should double up into it. Let's go Brave Bird into Fish's Friend. And double off into this Togi. He goes for the guard. That's going to be a beautiful read. He does not. Let's go Brave Bird. Yeet. Does some mean damage over on that thing. And definitely my Draco Fish should be able to outspeed as well. Draco Fish comes in with Fish Friend. How much damage are we doing? Oh, close to that KO. So good call by me to actually come in there. He goes for Starfall, and he's definitely going to take out my Draco Fish, which is totally fine. I know that my, what's it called? I know that my uh, Talonflame outspeeds. I know Talonflame outspeeds the uh, the Toad Kiss, so I can definitely uh, take that thing out. And then Max Knuckle into the Groudon. Groudon wakes up, though, when he goes for a Thunder. Oh, we're Sash, we're Sash, so we're, we're good. We are totally good. Oh, no, we already did damage to me. What you mean? No! All right, we're sitting in a tough little spot here. We're sitting in a tough little spot. Um, hmm. Definitely Dynamax. How do I play this one? How do I play this one? All me might come out here. How fast are we? How fast is Urshifu? You gonna clutch this one? Not bad speed. Not bad speed. Definitely got a Dynamax, and I think I just go into a, uh... I'm gonna say that thing, uh... What was protecting? I mean, if he goes into follow me, then, uh, I, th I still think this, uh, Max Knuckle does take out. We're gonna G-Max here, and see how this match actually takes us. See if we can get a Clutch Urshifu battle here. I'm going for it. Come on, baby, what you want? G-Maxing. Yo, dude, he's so sick. He's so sick. Look at this dude, he's huge! This dude's huge! Let's go. Let's get it. What's happening here? We do go first, and I think we do take out the route on here. We get that attack boost as well. I think he's going to go into an air slash. But it's good to know we do outspeed the Tokus as well. So, see you later to you. Um, Get that attack boost as well. We might. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. He definitely goes to an air slash, right? Yeah, air slash. We should be able to eat fine. Yeah, we do eat up. But we have to take out uh, Tokus this turn. Right here, right now, we got to take out Tokus. Ah, oh, man. Do, do I still have Tailwind? If I don't have Tailwind, we lost. I maybe should have checked that out. When, ooh, ah, looking a little scary here. 
You have Tailwind, so uh, you gotta go. I'm gonna boost my defense here, so I'm gonna take out the Togekiss. And I wonder what Poltsky's going to do. Poltsky, leave me alone. Leave me alone! <laughs> we do outspeed that. We get a defense boost. I wonder what Polt's doing. I think Polt might actually pick up the win. Polt might pick up the win just because he's faster. I feel like we eat up whatever it comes to the Polt or it comes from the Poltsky. And then something, I just... And then he's going to be able to outspeed because Tailwind's over Dragon Darts. Oh, we should be able to eat this up just fine. Well, if he goes for another Dragon Darts, we might be able to eat that up as well. It's a crit. Oh, it's going to be close. It is going to be close. Tailwind does Peter out. And we have one more turn in Dynamax. Bruh. Bruh. Hold up. Is Urshifu going to clutch this up? Oh, he has one more Pokemon. And it's Alkazam. I totally... Never mind. We lost. We totally lost. Uh, we're going to go for this. I'm going to take out Alkazam. Alkazam, what you want, fool? I think they both outspeed me, and it's just GG. It just goes to like a psychic or something. Something cool. And takes us out and says, night night. The dragon darts come out here. Dude, we eat up dragon darts like crazy. Show us that we outspeed the Alkazam. Nope, Shadow Ball comes out. We need this thing to miss. We need him to miss. This is gonna take out the Alkazam. Oh my lord. See you later, Alkazam. <laughs> oh my lord. We just dumped on that thing. We need this thing to miss. If Polt misses, we win. Yo, could you imagine? Do you imagine? What are the chances here? What are the chances? Gotta go for the wicked blow. Let's get it. Miss, baby. Miss. Ah, GG, GG. Oh my lord. But yo, that was awesome. I'm glad we got to show off what's it called? Urshifu and see all these different Pokemon. We end up going two and one with this team absolutely dominated urshifu man dude this thing is op very very strong pokemon it feels good to be back hopping into some online battles especially with some new pokemon from the isle of armor it makes this game feel brand new i love the urshifu he is so strong i don't think he's going to be vgc legal he is an absolute beast especially how he can crit every single time it is nuts it is nuts talonflame awesome mine i absolutely love talonflame i feel like it's going to be in the meta and it's going to be a great tailwind pokemon all around and amoongus amoongus is definitely fun to use with that giga drain spore and effect spore as its ability but guys that is going to be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live don't forget guys if you are interested in making me teams with the new isle of armor pokemon feel free to dm me over on my jeans youtube instagram page go dm me over there see what pokemon i would like to show off and uh if you have teams just send them over in the comment section or on my instagram page thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you on the next one peace out everyone